What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Connor Garrity, back on the G Money 041 channel. Coming at you with a quick little sneaker video. Gonna do two topics right now. First off, let's talk about this Saturday. Big day in sneakers. We've got a few big ass releases. We've got crazy, crazy releases and a crazy restock. If you haven't been paying attention, this weekend we will be having the Jordan 11s restocked at Foot Action, Foot Locker, Finish Line, and a bunch of other retail stores. We're going to have a ton of them restocking the Bread 11s. Gonna be, price is going to be $185. Foot Action and Foot Locker uh, will not have them. May have them in stores. You have to check. The House of Hoops will probably have them in stores. Uh, otherwise, most of the other carriers are just going to do them as usual online. Uh, no phone orders. I will be trying to cop a pair on finish line. Uh, we will see how successful that is. Also, in other news, we have two big um, releases in terms of uh, like foams. We have the uh, Barkley Posits. I think the Sixers colorway, and we have a um, a uh, eggplant colorway, aka the invisibility cloak colorway. Both of them look very, very cool. I'm not going to spend the money on them. They're like 235 bucks. I'm, I'm going to rather try and uh, buy the breads instead. We'll see how again so how successful I am. Uh, in terms of online, I haven't been successful. Today I was extremely successful. Got a sneaker that I cannot wait to have in my hands to see. I will be doing a review on those as soon as I get them. They should be here next week. Uh, I did have to buy them from Inc from uh, Sweden. Uh, maybe some of you know what those are. Maybe you don't. But I bought them from a company in Sweden. It was the company that put them out extremely excited to have those but this weekend uh restock on the bread 11s get on it uh find out what your local stores are doing uh if they're not doing anything go online check it out try and get them you know a uh, very just exciting time i think to be a sneakerhead all these restocks are great i think in my opinion uh they drive down reseller prices which i think is awesome and they also um they help people who want the sneaker get the sneaker uh, oh these resellers are now in trouble with the bread 11 you can't sell them for as much as they used to with this massive restock so I think that's good I think that's really cool um, second thing I want to talk about is custom sneakers and the reason I want to talk about custom sneakers is because myself um, I've been thinking of getting some uh, custom sneakers for myself in terms of um, hiring a guy to make me a uh, custom sneaker um, Reason being, I really like the fact that it is so much more personalized than another sneaker. And this also includes Nike ID, My Reebok, My Adidas, whatever you want to call it. Um, I love the idea of being able to make a sneaker for myself. Um, being able to make a sneaker that you know represents me, represents what I'm about, represents things I want uh, my sneakers to represent. Um, I've always wanted to do a sneaker based on the fact that I am Japanese. You know, there have been sneakers based on Japan. However, you know, uh, you know, it kind of there's never been a sneak truly Japanese sneaker. I would love to make one and be able to have that. But anyway, I love the idea of being able to have a sneaker that really represents you. Um, there's a guy on YouTube, J Star. Uh, he's really big. He has a Roberto Clemente sneaker, which is awesome. I think those are really cool. Um, there's a lot of, you know, Mosh, Gourmet Kicks, El Capi. I love El Capi's shoes. The Samurai Fours, if El Capi, if you happen to see this, bow to you, my man. Those are so sick and so, those are so crazy. Check those ones out after this video. Go to Google and type in Jordan 4 Samurai. I know I pronounce it a little bit different, but I'm just pronouncing it the Japanese way, Samurai. Different pronunciation, same spelling, whatever. <laughs> anyway, um, you know, I love custom sneakers. I've been thinking about um, making ones myself. Maybe I might do... I saw a video recently uh, that was posted by Nightwing. Shout out to Nightwing2303. Guy is a monster. Love his videos. Absolutely love his videos. But I love Nightwing. Um... 
Nightwing shoes that he came out with, and because I didn't even know Reebok made uh, had like a Nike ID themselves. Uh, maybe I'll do one on Reebok because I do like I do like the style of shoe he did. The pumps, I have a pair of the pumps. I have the Wish ATL uh, Omni Light pumps. Those are crazy on feet. I love them. I should probably maybe I'll wear them tomorrow. Who knows? Depends on the weather. Anyway, um, that's just. What, comment with your thoughts on um, custom sneakers. Do you like them? Do you hate them? Uh, do you have a pair? Um, what would you want to do if you made a custom sneaker? Tell me your thoughts and all that stuff. You know, I really, again, custom sneakers to me are even more artistic than regular sneakers because they really are, they allow an artist like a guy like El Capi or Mosh or gourmet kicks to really express what they want to express and make what they want to make I almost want to basically buy off Nike ID a plain white shoe give it to give it to a guy like El Capi and say here's a small idea and I want you to do whatever you want with it and just go crazy with it because uh, that to me is what sneaker customization is all about allowing a person to take something pure and plain and go nuts and allow them to just go crazy and do whatever they want to it and make something that's unique and represents themselves so that's gonna be it for this video thank you all for watching also comment with your thoughts on the uh, bright 11 resale are gonna be trying to cop are you copying a second pair uh, from the one you copped holiday release. Uh, do you not like the restocks? Do you like the restocks? Come with your thoughts on it. So yeah, just hit me up with your thoughts on it. Thank Again, thank you all for watching. This has been your boy Connor Garrity on the GMoney041 channel. Like the video, comment on the video, and subscribe to the channel if you like what I'm doing. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you. Remember, the is part of the name, like the Ohio State University. March Madness starts tomorrow, baby. Very excited about that. Cannot wait. Cannot wait. Whew. Best time of the year for sports, in my opinion. One of the best times of the year in sports. Cannot. Cannot wait to get this tournament on. Let's get it on. <laughs> Thank you again for watching the GMI 041 channel. Arigato. And with that, I got to hit y'all with the peace, baby. But that's just such a sad way to end it, you know? When I just say peace like that.